Located in the south of Turkey, Antalya is the third most visited city in the country, attracting more than 10 million visitors each year. Truth is, the city has a lot to offer. A beautiful beach surrounded by mountains, archaeological sites and a great deal of activities for sport lovers. Golf, rafting, paragliding, you name it. So let's discover this seaside resort and follow four Antalya enthusiasts for the day. Hello, my name is Bora. I'm a windsurfing champion and I hold more than 30 championship titles in Turkey. I enjoy spending my holidays in Antalya and I'll take my, to you my favourite places. It's an awesome beach, historical side of Persia, and we climb to Tali. Hello, my name is Dilek. I'm a fashion designer. I love Antalya because here we've got sun and sand. They're gorgeous. We'll embark on a boat trip along the Antalya coast and I'll try to practice golf. I've never tried it before. So come and follow me. You'll be astonished. Hello, I'm Semi, professional footballer with Antalya Spore. I live in Antalya. I love Antalya's sea, sun, sand and weather. We'll visit the city's archaeological museum and then we'll discover the waterfalls. And we'll also discover a delicious dish together. I'm Aaron, I'm an architect and today we're in Antalya and we're going to go canyoning before visiting the splendid Aspendos. Bora is windsurfing vice world champion. He loves the Konyalti beach that stretches along the large part of Antalya city. Well, we're here at the famous Antalya beach. It's a very, very long beach and what I like most here is the view. It's just incredible because when you go swimming you can see snowy mountain tops in the distance. This beach reminds me of my childhood when I was a kid in my hometown. It was also a beautiful beach, but I really didn't like swimming there. So my father decided to buy me a windsurfing board in order to create a love for the sea. And from that moment on, it became my passion, an adventure that makes me a champion. Moving towards the inland, around 15 kilometers away from Antalya, we reach the historical site of Persh. So here we're in Perj, one of the most important antique cities of Antalya. It dates back to 1200 BC and is known for different civilizations such as Hellenistic, Roman and Byzantine. Being located far away from the coast, it's been spared by Corsairs and is very well preserved to this day. As a windsurfer, I'm more of a saltwater and wind person. But when standing in front of this site, I have to tell you, I really am hooked. It is an ancient site, and walking around a place that is so well preserved, one understands the greatness of ancient civilizations. I love being here. If you like historical sites as much as I do, you definitely have to visit the citadel of Antalya from the Serk period, dating back to the 13th century. 250 meters above sea level, its walls are around 6.5 kilometers long, and the top of the citadel offers a spectacular panorama. Well, another place to enjoy an exceptional view, the top of Tatali. What you can see down there is the city of Kema. We're currently at an altitude of 750 meters, and soon we'll reach 2,365 meters thanks to a cable car. Hi to you all, dear viewers. There's no wind today, but we took the cable car up to surf. Here we go. Wow, it's cold up here. The fact is, at this altitude, temperatures rarely exceed 5 degrees Celsius compared to 35 degrees on the beach. Look, there's eternal snow. Well, if I'd known, I'd have come with my snowboard. The view here is just awesome. It's as if you could see the entire world. It's really beautiful, the landscape, the mountains, the horizon. It is obvious that God has created this place with special care. Right, at this point we're at an altitude of 2,655 metres, but I'm going to break a record here and now and break through the 2,370 metre barrier. Ready? Look! 
With more than 300 sunny days in a year, its beautiful beach and its great cultural heritage, it's not very difficult to understand why the city of Antalya does attract so many tourists from all over the world. Dilek says, I'll take you to Antalya's old town, a pleasant, authentic place where I like to wander, and I want to share this experience with you. Antalya's old town sits on a very steep cliff, nestled at the base of which is the harbour and the marina. Oh, I just love the view of the port. Here you can easily rent a boat and go out and enjoy the sea. What I like most in Antalya is taking a trip on a gullet and just sailing away. I just never get tired of admiring the entrance to this small harbour. And just looking back to the city, it fascinates me. Located in the south of Turkey, Antalya's climate is typically Mediterranean. Mild during winter, hot and dry in summer. So you can take a boat and go on a trip in the sea any time during the year. Any time I went out for a boat trip, things have always gone very well for me. I've never seen a shark or even a pirate. Antalya is also a perfect place to go and play golf. Along the Bilek coast, 30 kilometers from the city, golf amateurs can enjoy 15 world-class courses or attend the Turkish Open and maybe learn from Tiger Woods. Well, good morning, says Dilek. Nice to meet you. Are you going to be my trainer today? Well, because it's never too late to begin to play golf, Dilek is going to take her first lesson. Yeah. Wow. No, I'm just struggling to comprehend how far he hit that. The atmosphere is good, the setting is idyllic to learn to practice here, and we'll see what happens. So, good position, well done. Go on, how far did I hit that one? And again. Well, it must have been 20 meters or what? Uh, the pros is great, that's around 60 meters. <laughs> the point is not necessarily to shoot for it to begin to get the right gesture. Great stuff, well done, Dilek. Semi is a footballer and plays in Antalya, and he now takes us to the city's archaeological museum, one of the largest in Turkey at 7,000 square meters. Visitors can admire items found in several sites of the area, mostly in Perj, Said, and Aspendos. Most of these items date back to the Roman period in the 2nd and 3rd centuries, and Semi loves his time here. Well, players in my club told me about this museum, and it really is worth a visit. It shows us today's modern city, but it shows us that it possesses a precious and rich cultural heritage, and I wish everybody had the chance to come here and see all these displays. Well, each room is dedicated to a different theme, gods, Roman emperors, and the Persian theater. Here we have a statue of a, a female dancer. It's one of the most important statues in the museum, and it must require a very special talent to create and make such a work. As I said, it is uh, very special, this statue. It's wonderful to see it restored so beautifully. Fascinating. Great work. Well, the sarcophagus rooms and out to the beach. That's the way that Semi was doing it. After taking a little trip through the past, it was time to be brave at heart. And he decided to take his first flight experience above the beautiful Antalya coast. During the paragliding flight, you can see the magnificent Konyalti beach and fly above the old town's marina. A flight like this will give you lasting memories. Now, for those of you who prefer calm and serenity, here are other possibilities. Semi says the waterfalls are another favorite of mine. In summer, when it's so hot, you can spend time here when it's a little cooler. And people eat uh, godzilla here. 
because lamellia is a traditional dish, and personally, I love it. My grandma and my mom also cooked it. It's something easy to prepare. And you can put whatever you like into the dough. You can put cheese in it, spinach, potatoes, mincemeat. And then once uh, all that is done, once you've put your ingredients in, and you just go ahead and you cook it. When it's done, it's ready, and you can enjoy it. Aaron is an architect, and he'll show us Koporulu, a canyon. That's an amazing place. It feels great to be here. You can feel completely free. There are some 70 different sources coming from the Taurus Mountains and forming this river, which flows back to the Mediterranean Sea. And here the mountains are made of limestone. They hold back the water. And it really is an ideal place to do activities like rafting. It is absolutely astonishing here. It really is very nice. And I'm glad I visited. Well, the point is not to reach the Mediterranean Sea, nor Sydney or Paris, but Erin, I'm still going to give it a try. I've never tried this sport before, but I know that it's the perfect way to increase adrenaline and excitement. There will be some risks, but yeah, it's fine, they're, they're low risks. Let's face it, the water is soft, the water is fresh. It's beautiful, it's a totally natural environment. I should go for it. And here he goes. It's really cool. Because during the week I usually have lots of meetings planned, but instead of a busy schedule, being here now in this relaxing atmosphere full of action, I have to say, it's just something really, really pleasant. No, did you see that? I did it very well. I managed to get the boat between the rapids. How about that? And after the adrenaline, time to go to another place. Aaron now takes us to this beautiful Roman theatre. Well, we are in Asbendos, a Roman archaeological site built in the second century AD. And this magnificent monument has a remarkable place in the history of architecture. It's a classic style ancient theatre, it has unique acoustics. Um, one can hear the same tone in the front or the back. These stones have been taken from Anatolian territories, with its five gates opening towards the stage and its plan. Aspendos is a unique Roman theatre that's preserved so well. Well, exceptional natural surroundings here. And it is just incredible. Anywhere you sit in this arena, you can just hear the same thing all the way around. Well, it really is a beautiful place, a unique cultural heritage and a whole range of sporting activities. Antalya is surely an ideal destination for your holidays.